And accused of mauling a senior citizen on a max platform in Gresham was in court for the first time today. Gresham police say the suspect chewed off a man's ear and part of his face. And that's where we start today here at four o'clock. Just about 30 minutes ago, we got some new details about this attack from the Multnomah County District Attorney's Office. Mike Benner is outside the Justice Center for us. So Mike, we're finding out that the suspect told police in an interview that he thought the victim was a robot trying to kill him. Yeah, Brittany, that is Corn Kramer's uh, explanation for this awful, awful attack. Also, he is telling detectives that he was drunk and high at the time of the assault. And really, that's no surprise when you consider the allegations against him. Please appoint PDC Calhoun. With a deputy at his side, a visibly detached Corn Kramer faced a judge in a courtroom Wednesday afternoon. The 25-year-old is accused of an attack so horrendous, it's grabbing the attention of state lawmakers. I was quite frankly uh, in shock. Ricky Ruiz represents a large portion of Gresham, where early Tuesday morning at a max stop, Kramer is suspected of assaulting a 78-year-old man. Authorities say Kramer chewed off the man's ear and chewed off some of his flesh to the point his skull was visible. Very concerning, really worrisome, and quite frankly, uh, terrifying. Just being able to see just this around my corner, right, right by where I live. The DA's office says Kramer told detectives he thought his victim was a robot trying to kill him. In fact, he thanked officers for separating him from the robot. Kramer also told police he consumed alcohol cannabis and fentanyl pills before the attack he has since pled not guilty to. According to court documents, Kramer told law enforcement that he was recently evicted from a house in the St. John's neighborhood. I spoke to the homeowner who says he did rent a room to Kramer and he says when Kramer wasn't drinking or smoking marijuana, he was a pleasant, sweet person. But recently he says something changed. Kramer started mumbling under his breath and damaging the home and that's when the homeowner kicked him out. But before that sudden turn of events, Kramer told the homeowner he once attended Oberlin College in Ohio. That school's athletic website lists Kramer as a goalie on the men's soccer team in 2015 and 2016. Years later, Kramer would turn up in the Portland area and eventually a courtroom to face charges for viciously attacking a senior citizen on TriMet property. Violence in, during, in public transportation and just violence in public is just unacceptable. And, but also I have to acknowledge that folks who are causing this have deep, potentially deep addiction, mental health issues, uh, and we have to address that as well. Representative Ruiz says he'd like to work with TriMet to make the transit system safer. A TriMet spokesperson tells me they appreciate the gesture, but add that nothing will improve until state and local leaders better address societal issues like housing, addiction, and mental health. In the meantime, we can tell you that Corn Kramer is due back in court tomorrow for what is called a preventative detention hearing. In other words, the DA wants to keep him locked up as uh, court proceedings unfold, and that's because of the violent nature of this crime. Back to you. Wow, Mike, thank you for the update.